Togia. We got Divine Togi versus Smag. Is you know Smag Ira, a Yumu here on the left is in Swiss was what four one and zero, yeah. and uh, Matt uh, Barbados also four one and zero in Swiss. So both of these won four of their five matches for their five rounds. And then you got another green versus red, but this is a different, you know, we've got Divine Bird Tokiwa showing up in the top eight in this, what ended up being like a 34 player tournament, 33 player yeah, tournament. around there, yeah. So, and Yumu is an amazing player. Barbados, obviously an amazing player as well. Yeah, I've seen him twice in the stream mm -hmm. and he has completely showed out. Yep, Barbados, one of, you know, being one of the, He's the star of our show, apparently. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, if he takes it all, I, I request to have an interview with him. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Starting, we got our, you know, hands are being shuffled, and... Uh, it looks like Barbados is starting us off with a star bless draw. Very quick, very simple. Pay four, draw two. Now, you know, everything's on the line because when they, you know, you lose, you're done at yep. this point. Yep. The pressure is now on. And on you, with our, uh, giving us our great fan service. Yeah, just bringing out a scope owl. Just goes to four. So you use like whatever. Here's a scope owl. If you kill it, your thing's uh, exhausted. Like yeah. you want to play a, a, you know, you want to play a, an Andromeda. That's fine. It's exhausted. But we are going to see a Beldegor killing it, but it's going to exhaust it. So you know, Beldy comes out. Uh, burst gets set, and that's turn right there. He can't swing with the, you know, the Beldy is 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 done for. <laughs> Scope like, owl baby, we're putting you down to three. <laughs> Look at him smile. <laughs> you can see Barbados <laughs> smiling up there in the corner of his screen. He's like, okay, here comes another scope owl. Let me just play another watch. If we see another Beldegore come down. No, it's an Elrond. Elrond. It's Elrond. It's Elrond. But he can swing with that uh that Beldy here. Yeah. Put he a can. put a, a Yumu down to four. Four. <clears throat> no, he's going in with the Alron. Okay. I think he just wants to swing out the Beldy, or just kill the Belagor. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's keeping the Beldagor up as a block. It. I don't know. Like, do you kill it? Keep the Beldagor up as a blocker, or do you? You know, I th I think it'd be smarter to just keep the the so, Elrond up as a you blocker. You know, you, even if he le he swings with it. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god! This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love that's three. Yeah, that's three. Three, three, three scoops, three turns, baby. All right, Beldy goes to draw. You, you know, know goes, you're going to I, I see I see why he did it, because he wants to build a Gordon drop. You know That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if Alron gets killed in the attack step now, then Beldor will we'll come back, back out. out and then kills again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sense. See, Barbados is down to two quickly, very quickly. Down to two. So oh, I need to fix. Don't worry, guys, we're professionals at this point. <laughs> Such pros. <laughs> Zeke. <laughs> Smag comes out, store championship Smag. I'm going to ramp a core, counting cards in hand. We've got six to three, so no draw. Is he even playing draw in this deck? Uh Barbados? No, uh the Ayumu? Ayumu? He, I think he's playing Starblast at least. He's got Starblast and Divine Toki, so he's got draw. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right, that Alron is going to swing. See if Ayumu takes this. He'll put him to three. Yeah, he takes it, going to three. Oh, we're going to two at this point. Okay, let's see. Arbus is just like, fine, I'll put you to two. 
but that's also you that's something it? because I don't think he's played again unless he unless he's already played against a uh, Yumu, he may not know that he's running uh Divine Toki. So like if uh Divine Toki just gets slammed at this but, point. Yeah, because all he knows is it's their scoops out on the field. Yeah, we got the mother meadow bird. But then that should hint him out like Oh hundred percent. Hundred percent shows him that there's a uh th there's a divine toki. Oh no, he's just swinging. So no divine toki in the hand. So we're just swinging and likely that's an ice shield about to get cracked. Oh, oh no, we're he's like no, we're bringing out a scoops of our own. So we're gonna guard with the scope owl. And I think that's two to three. Oh, swifting out another Mother Meadow Bird. So He's just swinging wide at this point. Yep. And something is going to get exhausted here. Oh, Beldegor's coming out. What's he killing? Well, no, a Yumu he... gets to choose. So a Yumu's choosing for Beldegor to come out first before the, the, um, the, the rest. Yeah, before the anything gets exhausted. So he's going to have Beldegor come out, doesn't get to kill anything, yep. and then Scope Owl gets re exhausted um, by Barbados' Scope Owl. Mm -hmm. And now he's, you know, swinging in with the Mother Meadow Bird. And, I mean, Barbados isn't in a great spot here. They are trading, so Mother Meadow Bird trades with, with Beldegor. And you know that's two mother meadow birds gone, so it, it, it's it's hard to see. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you want the mother meadow birds for the ascend cost, mm -hmm. but I mean you have other prey birds for it. But you now the question is here: Yeah, do we just attack with the scoops? You might as well attack with the scope owl because the Alron is just going to exhaust it anyway. And we're flat. Oh my god, scope owl number four. That's all. Four. Holy crap! He has no choice. Oh, yeah, no, he's got to go. And hope that this is not an ice shield. It's a flood stream. Uh, does he have? Yeah, he has the course, but he has to lose both of his spirits to kill the other scope owl. He has to. He yeah. has to. Yep. He has no choice. Mm -hmm. Wow. But uh, a Yumu has no burst card, so there is no. There's no ice shield. So if Barbados can bring out two spirits, it's game. Um, and a Yumu doesn't have an answer. It's he. Can't all he can bring out is a is a Newman guard. Like, do you swing with the Newman guard and risk a dream I mean, bomb? He, he has a uh, two cores in reserve. Yeah, cores. you swing and you risk what a dream bomb or something like that. Uh, putting a you know put a Yumu down to down to one, and then we get the refresh and well, it's one card. No, no, no. no. A Barbados has plenty of cards in his hand. A Yumu's at two at this point. Um, so we do see the Alron. He's gonna so tap he's gonna tap it. Fine. Well he can't he can't. Alron can only tap up to six cost. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But he's got three three spirits, three attacks. He just has to wonder, does Barbados have a thorn prison? You know what I mean? Because if he yeah. attacks with one spirit and Barbados has a thorn prison, then that's just kind of it. But he really doesn't like he doesn't have a choice here. He's gotta go in. So, you know, it's one to one guarding with the with the elephant. When you just, you know, kind of let scoops die. Oh, yep. Yeah. Scope out. You saw four scope out in like four, four or five turns. turns man. What do we have? Nothing. Love just spirits. Man. All right. That was a fast that, that was game. A quick one. One. That Holy was a quick crap. one. Um, so Yumu takes game one. Very quickly, he just the hand was what it was. You know what I mean. The it's, hand it's, really it's was hard just to what see. it was. Uh, you know, and Barbados, he he was starting strong during in through Swiss, but it just shows mm -hmm. when you're in top eight, it just goes to show that it goes that it comes down to who wants it more. Yeah, yeah, it really does. So I wonder what we are going to be seeing for like sideboarding and so, stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if a Yumu wants to 
sideboard at this point, though he he sees the smag, he saw the Al Ron, so he knows he saw the elephant, so he knows he's playing against a smag deck. Um, you know, Barbados knows he's playing against probably a Divine Toki take, deck because of yeah. the Mother Meadow, Meadow Bird. I want to just take these two out and go down to one plant trap. And I think that the the plane trapper is very important for his okay, build because plane trap is really good versus like uh, Ira. Right. It's good again, you know, on that that one. Just take and these two like and put plane trap two. is also good for divine bird Toki walk because you can plane trap your divine Toki. So yeah, yeah really just on... take, take all you can really do then is just take these two out, and put put two. Yeah, seeing some more put see some some thorn prisons in to to try and yeah. Yeah, the cl the close out the game, close out the game a bit faster. Mm -hmm. If if he even sideboarded, I'm not entirely sure. But we do see a mulligan from a Yumu. Um, I think we might have seen a mulligan from Barbados as well. Now who's going to play here? Right, we're starting. Barbados is starting off with a strong draw. Draw three, ditch two, Beldegor. Cut. Oh, oh, almost there, almost there. there. So ditch the Beldy, ditch a Cursed Dragon. First and turn, right there. See what Ayumu has for us. See a burst first. being set. <laughs> 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 hey, you can tell by the look of Barbados in the face. He's like, can you stop? Yeah, for real. Like, all right, fine. We see some scoops. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's the mat drawing the scoops to it. You know what yeah, I mean? He's right. got the fan service mat and everything like that. You got the fan service sleeve. Was that the Bow Spirits? It's, it's the, the, from the Japan. Hollow, it's, yeah. yeah hollow Live. Like Hollow Live. And then we got the uh, Live Counter fan service. Mm -hmm. We have the sleeve. We got the whole, we got the whole <laughs> shebang. It's man. okay. This is not a child friendly stream anyway. We've got us on it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we do see an Astrara come down from Barbados. He's j just left up as a as a blocker, but uh, the Aldeed comes down. Aldeed doing work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exhausting that. that a straw raw and a Yumu's just like no, you're. I'm just gonna absolutely I'm punch you. Down, exactly, dog. exactly. I'm hitting you Swing before you the can scoops. hit me. And bloodstream, he has to pay all five, killing us a straw raw to get rid of the scoops. It's unfortunate, but yep. like again, you he's, have to. Do yeah, it. he's doing what he's got to do. See what he's able to do here. Can he pull down a smack? That's the. Four for the Elrond, okay. Elrond's up. But, like, again, do you just swing with this Elrond? Oh, no. the plant trap oh. is going to make him exhaust his spirit. So Elrond can't even attack. Yeah, yeah plant trap wins summoned and it exhausts the Elrond. Yeah, you hate to see it. Uh, I love seeing plant traps go off. Oh, honestly. no, yeah, I love to see it. But <laughs> if you're end, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For, his, for on his end, you hate to see it. Oh, so, yeah, you can tell he's... He's not happy here. He's not having a good time. Mm -hmm. And then this is the first round of top eight. Yeah. See him get knocked down like this. It's it's tough. But he said like he's against a Yuma. Yuma is such a good player. You I mean, they're I mean? both heavy hitter. Yeah, they players. are. They really are. You got the all deeds going to ramp a car, ramp a core. And, you know, at least Yuma's not hasn't at least he hasn't seen four scope battles at this point. So like. You know, there's so his we scope do see the scopes from from Barbados. Yeah, the plant trap only refreshes the green spirit, uh, the five or co five cost or more if you pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So what Saga Deviant, what Rosento's saying, if it's just a wind summoned burst uh, thorn prison for free, which is what he used it for. So Barbados down to two. We do see the Matangle coming out. 
Give him that ramp that he With needs. another plant trap. Oh, oh my god. god. The plant trap putting in work, and now he's paying to refresh his LD. He, he, it's just, he's getting Bro. on it. He's getting really punished. Plant trap. He's getting punished out here. In the year of our Lord, 2024. And it's just... I feel bad for him. I mean, he's... He's playing good. He, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's not out of it. He's got a burst card set, which could easily be a, an ice shield. But if this is a divine bird Tokiwa, that ice shield isn't going to cut it. Pulling one off into the, okay, so yeah, the the sacred totem poles is going to give him the ability. If, if you block, you still burn a life. And at this point, dream bomb, dream bomb. He was like, no, no. Not happening. Dream Bomb, get that Toki out of here. This is what makes me want to play Green Deck so yeah. bad. And Ayumu bringing out this, you know, this Green Divine Tokiwa deck, coming into top eight with it, and showing that Green is not out of it. Green is still strong. Yeah. It's just there's not enough people on Green. Everybody's, you know, on the I swear to God, if that's another plant trap on the Wind Summoned. It's not. Okay. He's like, do you have another play trap? <laughs> it's like, no. Please. <laughs> and we do, you know, Matt Tangle comes in and, you know, Ayuma doesn't have anything on the field. So he's staring at like, what, three cores available mm -hmm. to him? Yeah. So he's got to take a couple hits here if, unless. He has a uh, less, the next damage he takes, it's ice shield. You know? Barbados is determining whether or not he wants to attack. It's like, do I attack? Do I like, you know, because if he attacks, he attacks. But if he doesn't attack, he could just run into a thorn prison. Yeah. And you don't want to run into a thorn prison. He knows there's a divine bird Tokiwa, though. So like if a Yumu is able to get out like a mother meadow bird into divine Tokiwa. It's just over anyway, because all your stuff gets exhausted. He would need another dream bomb or something like that. For his next move. Yeah. Yumu is deciding whether or not he wants to play something, I think. He may just pass at this point. No, he's going to build the... What's he building? Is he going to kill a matching goal? He's going to get rid of the scoops. Okay, we're taking out the scoops to exhaust the Beldy. And that's it. We just, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for his turn. So uh, Barbados has been able to... Back. Slow down the tempo because uh, Ayumu had an incredible amount of tempo. I mean, we've seen it before, you mm -hmm. know, like it, it, during in Swiss, mm -hmm. it, we have seen it. We see him, yes, yeah, slow down his opponent's tempo and just be like, just okay, now we come back. But I don't uh, like he's facing against a Gale deck, well, basically a Gale deck. Oh, basically. Um. Let's see what Ayumu is able to... I mean, he's still at four life, but, like, again, if uh, if an Ira is able to come down at some point, then it's going to be really tough for him, especially if he's able to... If he goes down to two. No, Barbados is just going to pass. Okay. He's like, I want... He wants three spirits up, because if there is a, a Thorn Prison effect, then, you know, then it's... He's like, I don't want to, to get absolutely destroyed by a thorn prison. And he, it looks like a Yuma's run out of steam a bit. Does he have anything? Does he have a play? He might, you know, he's just holding off at this point, I think. There is also the possibility that he is holding off because he may have sighted in those Iras. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's a chance. There. Waiting for Barbados to, you know, overcommit to to slam an Ira onto the field. And he and Ayumu passes. Mm -hmm. Got the new guard. Right. Now, if he does, if Ayumu has to be careful, then 
Because if he does play the Ira, mm-hmm. he suffers through that. Yeah, he suffers through the the Newman guard, the the draw three, ramp three. But you know, Barbados is sitting here with five spirits on the field. All Ayumu has is an exhausted Beldegor. And what's his burst spirit? It, it's not. It, it can't be an ice shield. Yeah. It's probably probably a star blast or something like that. But if it was a star blast, I think he would have. There's not the ice shield. shield. Odd that he's going to. Choosing to go to two for the ice shield, it, it I guess he wants the extra be, cores. It's a good possibility. It's it's for the core, but sometimes you gotta you know you gotta count the cores that you've got to be able to go. Okay, well I need one more core in order to make these plays. There's only a matter of moments till Arbitos himself plays an Ira mm-hmm. and ends the game and goes into a game three. Yeah, I mean I I would love to see a game three here. Um, I don't want to see, I don't, I never want to see just a fast, flat out 2-0. I want to see, you know, the back and forth and everything like that. And yeah, yeah, we, we, we love to see it, yeah. at, but at this point now in the tournament, it, if it goes fast, it goes fast. Yeah. We can't, we can't. Yeah, we can't do anything. There's about not, it. not much we can do about it. But Ayumu passes once again. He sets a burst and just oh passes. Oh gosh. Is, does he have nothing but ice shields in his hand? It could be, we know one of them is a Divine Toki. Yeah. Um, we know that much. Um, it could just be the fact that um, he's... That there's the ice shield. Yeah, he's just holding off at this point. That, that looked like a, the, the Eva version of the Rookie Ninja Sparrow. Probably. What do you do here? All of a sudden, like I said, that all that tempo that Ayumu had is gone. He's just passed and passed and passed. So there's he. Surely he has some sort of plan. With he has the to have an out. Out. He just put two cores on the sacred total pool. Mm-hmm. Is he planning to play the divine Toki right now? Is that is that the goal? Because he has enough cores to do everything he he at least can do. It depends. It's three for a mother meadow bird, and then what? Six for Toki. So three, four, one, two, three, four. Five. He has yeah, enough. he's got the cores. He, he has enough. We have the cores, and Barbados is at four in hand. So he's like, well, if I play the divine Toki, if I ditch and draw, then I go to four as well. Uh, maybe the four new cards would be, you know, is what he wants. Maybe he's waiting to. I don't know. Honestly, at this point, I'm I'm I have no clue. Only only a Yumu knows what's going on in his head. What we can do is sit and wait, just like Barbados is doing. Is counting cores here. Yeah, we're seeing three into six. I mean, imagine he just goes Mother Meadowbird into Ira. (laughs) All right, there's the rookie Ninja Sparrow. He paid the Soul Core, so it doesn't come in exhausted. Into the Divine Toki. So there's, you know, e- e- ascending off of the, the Prey Bird that is the Rookie Ninja Sparrow. And it's at level 3. Yes, it's at level 3, so it's a 13k. Are we going to see a ditch and draw, however? That's the question. Paying one for... uh Oh, a Plane Trap. Playing one for a... Wait, that doesn't. The plane trap can't exhaust the Alron. The plane trap has to would probably have to exhaust the elephant at this point. 
but it, I mean, it is what it is. They're already way past that. Um, swing draw four. He's going in for 11k here. So the 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 elephant dies here for a uh, draw three ram three. Right. And to the ice shield from hand. Yep. Guard with elephant into the ice shield from hand. Elephant dies. Draw three ram three. Ooh, this could be this. We could be seeing game two or game three. Which it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. However, the plant, like I said, the plant trap should not have exhausted the Alron because you, if it's a green spirit, it refreshes it. So the plant trap, the only thing the plant trap could have exhausted is the elephant. So through the, through, I think that was a misplay by a Yumu. Through the misplay, um, the, the elephant was able to block because the yeah. elephant should have been exhausted. But both players missed that. We are paying for the Ira. Here comes the Ira off the smag, and that's two damage for game, possibly. Yeah, that, that's going into game three. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, into game three. Um, does that was that? That was not if the play. They wouldn't either. have. If the plane trap was played correctly, would that have been able to happen? That's that's the the big question here. Um, and, and that just goes to show, like, this is top cut. Yes. Uh, nerves are you, nerves are high. You you nerves are high, and if you want to go to that next round, you can't make those type of mistakes. Correct. You have to be very very careful with every turn and with every play that you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, you know both both players allowed it to happen um and you know i'm not a judge i can't go in there and be like hey blah 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 you know what yeah, I mean? yeah yeah so yeah both players saw it they it happened the way that it happened that possibly cost you the game but at the same time he he uh skipped so many turns that you know, all the tempo was put into Barbados's hands. So, yeah, you know, but we're in the game three. So he should have just ditched. And redrew. Mm -hmm. And see what he could have drawn, you know? Yeah, because then he had all those cores that he could use. Yeah. Yeah, well. We'll have to see. Oh, well. We will see what's what what's in store for game three. The Barbados Metal Soul Core. I think um Ayumu also has one of those metal soul cores. They're both, you know, top top ranking players. Six to the bottom, looks like. Looks like he is keeping. Ayumu is keeping. Yep. They're both I'm keeping. keeping. All right, uh, Yuma's going to start us off. Let's see what kind of play he's got. Burst. Burst. All right, could easily be... Usually <laughs> Sacred Totem pulls into Emerald Sanctuary. Here you go. Here is a two green reduction off the rip. Let's get it going. And burst could easily be a star blessed draw or something like that off of or a plane like trap. a smag play. You know what I mean? So it could be a plane trap as well. Three Beldegor. That when someone does proc regardless, and there we go. It is a star blessed draw. All right, Beldegor swings and Ayumu's down to four. So he's got, you know, he, he got the free draw too, which is fine. Uh, another burst card being set. Got two green reduction, which, you know, a, a, an Alron comes down and, oh, no, a, a Beldegor comes down and kills Barbados's Beldegor. And let's see if he's got a star. It's not looking like it's going to be a star blast. The rookie Ninja Sparrow. 
And yeah, swing it in. Ricky Ninja Sparrow sending Barbados to four, and Beldegor sending Barbados to three, most likely. There goes that 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 wide swinging that we've been mm -hmm. seeing from a Yumu just in the first couple first couple uh, turns. Yeah, just applying that pressure because he has to make his opponent think. Because if he takes them down to two, even one, it's game over. Yep. You see the Andromeda. What's that going to kill? The Twin Poles, the Sanctuary, the Rookie Ninja Sparrow, and we see another Star Blast for two free cards. You know, you don't need a lot. You just need that Star Blast to draw you something good. That's really all you do. That's really all you need. And um, the Andro he's choosing not to swing with the Andromeda. Oh, he chose to kill the Spirit, not the uh, not the not the Nexus. Yes, yeah, that's true. The Rookie Ninja Sparrow is much less threatening than the well. I think it's the fact that he's like, I don't want you to put me down super low. I'm going to kill the spirit, so you have to replace it. Also, it's a prey bird that, you know, you can you, you can get. send Divine Bird Tokiwa onto. Yeah. So we do see the Scope Owl into the, the Aldeed. Aldeed is going to exhaust that Andromeda, and he's got Lethal on board here. He does. He does. That's crazy to see. However, if that is an ice shield, then uh, then Barbados is going to survive at one age at one life. Does he? Because he takes this damage, oh, yeah, puts yeah, the yeah, ice shield, yeah, stays yeah, at two, yeah, and yeah. then Scope yeah, yeah. swings and he goes down to one. Yeah, and Barbados is down to one. Here's that pressure, like I said, like mm -hmm. he you. Knows he has to make his opponents think every move carefully because if I'm swinging wide, oh the curse dragon! Oh my god! And uh, he is going to force him to exhaust something, though that curse dragon just uh just ramped him three cores and really possibly put him back in this because you know Yumu does still have two green reduction on the field in the form of those those nexus, nexus. but there goes his spirits. He's down to three cards in hand. Mind you, yep. Yumu still has a burst set. Mm -hmm. So, well, if he doesn't, if there's the LD. There's the LD exhausting the the curse dragon, and that may be it. I mean, yeah, that's it. That's uh, it. Yumu takes it. Wow. Yep. Good job, Yumu. Good job, and he well, and he did have the Yumu. He did have this ice, yeah, two ice shields and the divine Tokyo war. Wow. And, you know, we see the strong draw, an elephant, an Al Ron, uh, another ice shield, but he couldn't really do anything with that ice shield. Like you said, he was probably planning on block with the cursed dragon. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. But and, you, at, uh, at, the the day, at the end of the day, you don't know what happens. You have your opponent's, what, what your opponent has in hand at the end of the day. Yeah, I think he's he's telling Ayumi right now. I'm playing. I was playing on you know block with the curse dragon, flashing the ice shield. But like, you know, when you you kill a scope owl and scope owls when destroyed is not tied to a level. Yeah, you, you rip the core off of it and he loses something. And you know the Aldeed comes down knowing that Aldeed is there. Here we go. We got a we got a, a win for Ayumu. It comes down to those types of matches mm -hmm. where. Sometimes going wide on during top eight, mm -hmm. the only way to go. Yep, and that does look like these the, are there our first match of the top eight. Match. All right, that are done. Yeah. Well, look at that. Wow. Yeah, it just goes nice. to show that in top eight, you have to put be on your A game. Yeah. You cannot think about your plays too much. Mm -hmm. Don't overthink it because. Yeah. You, that might cost you the game at the end of the day. That's true. That is true. Now, you know, it truly is a work of art what um what, what Ayumu was able to do just because he knows he's like, okay, you're obviously playing Smag Ira. I just need to apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure. And, because and Smag Ira doesn't have those explosive BBE turns where you're just like, okay, you put me to two. Okay, let me just shit my hand out. And what's crazy about it is he did it with elegance. Yeah, he did. He he really did. 
he didn't do it recklessly mm -hmm. other than that one d divine took you well played it towards the which he basically he was he had to he had, he had to. to at that point but like throughout the rest of those games he mm -hmm. was doing it with elegance so you did he, he thought he was thinking out his place carefully mm -hmm. and he knew what he had to do yeah at the end of the day yeah i agree set that early early aggro in mm -hmm. make your opponent think in because they're gonna get flustered when they're at two or less mm -hmm. life and you could Darkness. see even in game two even though ayumu lost that game those double that double plant trap burst really really tilted yeah. barbados a bit it really had him going wow heck, really heck even that first game when when ayumu played four scope out yeah the force <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's exactly. like you you he, you could tell by the look at barbados barbados is uh look on his face is like well you had it dog like, yeah, like <laughs> fuck me i guess like, <laughs> damn. So, all right well you know that's you know it'd be like that it really do be like that it really moves does. on to the next round a great showing from barbados he played well. He got three matches on stream. Okay. Uh, played very well. He made it to top eight. And, you know, hey. unfortunately, the but pressure he, was he... too much from, from Ayumu. And, you know, it's Smag Ira really wants to... The Smag, Smag builds, they really want to kind of, like, pace the game. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, really, and, really and, set and, the pace that, for the game. And, and, that's, and that's what comes down to at the end of the day. If you're coming... If you're going into a match and you know you're going to get aggroed out mm -hmm. and you want to play those small paced games and you really can't because yep. those aggro decks are going to run over you yeah all right does look like table one concluded maxi 99 moves on kalel who is undefeated in in swiss gets knocked out oh, in top eight man it's knocked out in top the, eight the, of, the top of, contender that mm -hmm. was gonna that 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 was I thought was mm -hmm. going to take the whole thing. Yeah. Went 5 0. Going to the first round of top eight. It's knocked out. 